It's alive. It's alive. She's alive. Alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It is alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Spontaneous science. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to deal with my pet squid. Yes, I have a pet squid. Um, <laughs> welcome again to Spontaneous Science! Oh, sorry. I gotta work on that just a little. Um, but, we're so glad you are here because we are finishing up our static electricity uh, magnetism little unit here um, and so we're going to be talking about weather next week and I have a couple weather experiments um, but today we are going to finish up our uh, static electricity um, with a little thing I like to call little piranhas all right so what we are going to need today we are going to need play-doh 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 you're going to need aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. We're going to need a picture frame stolen from my mother. Shh, she doesn't know about it. All right, and then you're going to need a plate. I got styrofoam plates here. You can also use a pan, cooking pan. Let me set this down. Plates, and that's all you're going to need today. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to wrap these styrofoam plates in tin foil. So, you gotta wrap it. Shiny. Oh. <laughs> really, you can do this on any plastic. We're going to do it in a plate today. All right, then you're going to take your Play-Doh and you're going to break it up into three. There we go. Then take it up into three, four different sections, four different parts. So we got one, two, three, four. This one's a little bigger. There we go. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to set them in four corners. Set the Play-Doh in four corners of the plate. All right. Set the Play-Doh in four corners of the plate. And next, you're going to take back. You're going to take back the tin foil, and we are going to make little tiny minions. Little tiny minions. What do I mean by minions? I don't think I can do this with web flop. So what we're going to have to do is rip a nice good sized piece of tin foil, and we're going to make it into a little ball, a little ball. And uh, so I think it's time for a fast forward montage. All right, here we go. And a one, and a two, and a three. What? <laughs> Okay, so now we have tiny, tiny little balls of aluminum foil. And what's going to happen next is we're going to take my mother's picture frame and we're going to take a plastic sheet out of it. And now this one's glass. 
So uh, be aware of which kind of picture frame you have. Because you don't want to break your mother's picture frame. Or you're going to be grounded for a month. For a week. Maybe for life. And I just broke it. So, alright. I won't be seeing you guys in a while. Alright. So here we go. You're going to lay the plastic sheet or the glass sheet on. Okay. So here you go. You're going to lay the plastic or glass sheet onto the uh, Play-Doh. And we're going to take a cloth here. And we are going to rub the cloth over the glass. Creating enough static electricity. A lot. Static electricity. Gonna do it a little differently here, and uh, see if this works. Okay, so science is against me today, and uh, probably forever for now. Um, but, so, uh, come to find out, do not use glass. Uh, use plastic instead. So, if you have a plastic picture frame, use plastic picture frame. And uh, it takes a long while for the friction to start to build up. Um, but, so I have turned to my trusty green balloon, green for go, um, trusty green balloon, and we are going to create some uh, static electricity so that we can pick up these little minions here, just as we did with the paper. And just to prove that aluminum foil can be alive, and that's the theme of this episode. And sometimes static just doesn't work outright. Maybe because I'm not a real scientist, but we'll see if this works. Oh, they're alive. They really want the balloon. All right, hold on. It's alive. All right, they're jiggling. They're jiggling. All right, and so that is how you guys do this experiment. Super cool experiment. Um, so what you're going to end up needing is aluminum foil, Play-Doh, blow up the little aluminum foils and the little balls, and a balloon. Now you can try this, like how I did it in the first place. Um, see if it works. Um, use plastic, not glass. And, um, or you can just do it like this, or you can experiment with other things, maybe even a PVC pipe, battery, um, you know, be a better scientist than I am, maybe. All right, so this is it. This is Spontaneous Science.